I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. How does it feel to be here tonight celebrating British independent cinema? I think it's um, fantastic. I, I was just like, you, you never expect like getting out of a car, especially if you've been in a long cab journey, like how kind of overwhelming it's going to be and there's you know it's just going to be an exciting night there's so much going on there's so many brilliant films that I've I've watched because I've been on the jury and it's just like recognizing such wonderful talent and raw talent and new talent to me I've always been a big supporter of independent film I've always watched films that come from you know film festivals and they've you know it was made in Spain or it was made in you know kind of the Middle East or you know different cultures and and independent film really grows talent, you know, you kind of gives people opportunities that where people wouldn't get opportunities. And, um, you know, it's nice to recognize kind of all the different, um, all the different categories. And, you know, and it's great because independent film is kind of giving more women and being on the jury. I noticed that there are more women getting um, kind of directing roles or, or roles in, in, in certain things that they don't normally get you know I think it's really important to highlight that and I guess you can't necessarily pick out films or, or actors to might be giving too much away but you know what's maybe stood out for you about the selection of films this year I mean one of the other jurors was saying you know a lot of these films were kind of made during the pandemic I know yourself made a film during the pandemic is there kind of like an extra level of kind of heart and passion and emotion that's gone into it because of the circumstance we've been through I think so. I think it's a lot. It was shooting in the pandemic was a lot harder, than, or making a film, or getting it made and getting it completed, getting it finished, all those kind of things. Um, I just feel like there culturally there is a real um, drive and a, a desperation, in, in a good way, good desperation for people to want to have kind of cultural things or be, you know, be um, stimulated. And we, we're just all, kind of, for me, like, it's been happening for quite a while, but things have been kind of whitewashed and, and just made me, it's all mediocre and you have to kind of just set this kind of, and I never liked, my personally, myself, a big studio film, so I always would kind of go to, like, little repertoire cinemas and then I got really sad when I thought they were all going to die out, you know. And I guess they have to find the balance of showing the independent film and then then kind of um, ha making enough money to carry on going by, you know, showing the big, big movies. But, you know, I think you just have to be determined. You know, I, I just would not let my documentary not be finished. I was on the producers the whole time, but it was, it was hard times, but there's some amazing films come out of it, and that's sometimes what happens. And how do you look back on how the industry has changed all the time that you've, you know, been working in it? And also, I guess, going from being in front of the camera to now being in the director's chair, what's that shift been like for you? It's quite a relief being behind the camera. I like the kind of freedom of just like, I mean, I, I, I've acted and I was producing. Producing for me was like anxiety ridden and then directing I just feel like really at home and you know I'm still learning there's a lot to learn but I kind of really enjoy the kind of you know having a vision and really knowing what I want and really being pre and I love prep I just love the kind of the whole kind of research um, part of it and you know I'm, I'm really enjoying yeah being directing you know and um, I feel like I found something that I really it just fits with me what was the first question? I forgot that one. <laughs> Just how you've seen the industry change, uh, I guess. I feel like it's going full, like going full circle for me. Like I was like looking at the films that I like the best, you know, in the independent films, and you know, from This Is England and 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 um, Shallow Grave and um, Train Spotting and all the great people that came up in the 90s, and then I felt like it it, it was it was like losing, you know, it was harder because pe it wasn't being supported. But I feel like now a lot of the stuff I'm seeing is like and the talent is, is a kind of rawness and a kind of energy. It's like, you know, out of hard times, sometimes, you know, in, in everything like fashion, art, you know, really good things can come of it. And I, and I see in, the, in a lot of the filmmaking that it's reminding me of what happened when there was some real excitement in the 90s. Just super quickly, do we know when Twiggy's coming out? Is that next year? Next September, yeah. Fantastic, can't wait for that. Thank Love you. to chat to you, thanks yeah. a lot.